Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. And today I'm with Justin Cochran, who is the CEO of Carbon Streaming Corporation, NetZ on the NEO, also listed on the OTC Frankfurt and soon to be coming to a big board in the US next year. How are you doing today, Justin? I'm great, thanks. Uh, thanks, Chris, for having me once again. Well, uh, we just spoke a couple of months ago, but I can't believe uh, how much has happened both you know, in the world as well as with your company. Uh, we've had a major, you know, UN climate conference and some, uh, unfortunately, some, you know, pretty major storms that have impacted both uh, Canada and the East Coast and the West Coast, which is bringing these environmental concerns to the forefront. Um, carbon streaming is in an interesting position, focusing on the streaming business. Um, you've had some recent new, uh, news about some deals in both Mexico and Brazil. Why don't you give us a quick update? Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Chris. Uh, so Mexico, we, we did close that investment a couple of weeks ago. That's a fabulous project in Baja, Mexico, where they're protecting mangroves from encroaching shrimp farming. I actually had the chance to go down there in, in October, and it's just an incredible spot. And what was what was what was really nice to see and important to see is the kind of impact that that project will have on local communities um, down at the project site. Uh, really, really excited to get that project completed. And it is a blue carbon project, importantly. So it's not only protecting the mangroves, it's also protecting the marine ecosystem that exists around the mangroves. And uh, very excited to not, not only meet the development team, uh, but see the kind of progress that they've made over the last six months. And, and what sort of investment do you make in these projects? So that one there is actually a $6 million investment that we're making over the course of the development of that project. So we're expecting our first credits there in, in the first half of 2023. So we closed on a $2 million upfront investment, and then we have milestone payments over the next 18 months as they develop the project. And how long do the carbon streams go for like on that, this project in Mexico? So they tend to be 30 year streams. Some are 20, 30, uh, as much as a 60 year stream. That one in Mexico is a 30 year uh, project life and the stream exists for the entire project life. Great. Now you raised over a hundred million dollars in, in July and you still have a lot of that in the bank. And I noticed that you've managed to grow your team in October, you hired a couple of new people. Uh, are they part of the plan to help deploy that capital? Uh, absolutely. So what's unique about the business is when I sat here 12 months ago, there was only two people inside the, the company. We now have 11 full-time employees, six of which are dedicated to the investment pipeline. So their full-time job is sourcing, negotiating, executing that investment pipeline. So as you mentioned, we did get the ERA um, uh, investment completed in Brazil. That's a project that we're very excited about. It's a grouped project in, in Brazil where, where we'll be bringing in new landowners into the same Vera, um, Vera program. Uh, but also beyond that, we've got a massive pipeline, uh, over $700 million size, which, which that, that investment team is very active in, in, um, in focused on and, and a number of projects that we're in active due diligence on. So uh, over the next six months, we expect that we, have, we will have deployed the vast majority of that cash still sitting on the balance sheet. And that will lead nicely into that U.S. listing, sort of big board U.S. listing that you talked about at the, the top of the show. And are you seeing uh, interest in additional capital from investors in, in this in, uh, environment where ESG is becoming quite a, an important investment for some, some companies? Oh, absolutely. There's, as you know, an incredible amount of money that's that's chasing ESG themed investments right now. Uh, we've spent the last uh, week and a half meeting with uh, over two dozen institutional investors around the world. Uh, many of these investors are managing billions, uh, tens of billions of dollars. Uh, and there is a lot of enthusiasm for our business model on the, on the, the royalty and streaming side, but also just carbon projects and supporting these types of projects around the world, given the kind of you know, climate change impacts we're already seeing. And, you know, and, and we've got a long way to go before we've actually stopped, uh, stopped warming this, this globe. <laughs> and, and talking about uh, climate and climate change, the UN conference uh, closed down, which was the, the, the COP26. And a lot of attention was, you know, you know Sean on this type of investment. Uh, what are you seeing the impact of that on your business model, on sales, 
um, pricing going over the next couple of years? Yeah, well, what, I, what we've seen is, is, frankly, we think North America has been asleep at the wheel for the last decade as Europe has really uh, outshone us in terms of their focus on, on climate change. But, but North America is finally waking up. And, and with COP26 leading up to COP, COP26 and even following COP26, we've just seen tremendous demand um, for, for carbon credits in general. We've got our Rimbaraya project in Indonesia, which is our flagship project. Uh, we are expecting um, upwards of 7 million credits in, to be delivered to carbon streaming in the first half of, of next year, um, six and a half of which will come from, from Rimbaraya. And we're already seeing carbon prices that have almost doubled from where we made that investment or agreed on that investment uh, only six months ago. And for that project, how long does that project go for? So that, that similar to Marvivo was a 30-year project. We're 10 years into the project life. So we've got 20 years remaining on the base project at, at Rimbaraya. Although our investment is a 30 year investment. So if there is a, a second project life beyond that initial 30 year uh, project, we would get the benefit of that uh, at carbon streaming as well. And ours is a 30 year investment with automatic extensions beyond 30 years. So it has the ability to, to, to go much longer than 30 years. So over the next couple of months, uh, I know you've been quite busy uh, over the last couple of months. What can investors look forward to for as far as news announcements from the company? So the big focus will be executing on that investment pipeline. As we talked about, we're going to spend a lot of time with institutional investors uh, and retail investors leading up to that U.S. listing. Well, as any ESG investor who's looking to deploy some capital into this space, I think carbon streaming is a, is a good place to, to have a look. Um, I thank you, Justin, for your time. I was speaking with Justin Cochran, who was president and CEO of Carbon Streaming Corporation, NetZ, uh, on the NEO exchange, and soon to be listed on a major U.S. exchange uh, next year. And I look forward to following your progress. Thanks again, Chris. Really appreciate it.